He was successful in taking his life. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Adiola. On September 12th, 27 year old Afro singer Eleni Ulua Oladimegi Aloba, popularly known as Mobad, allegedly died from ear infection. Who dies of ear infection in Nigeria? Even old Buari did not die when he had ear infection. They don't even know how to lie about the cause of his death. But you know, the focus of this video is the fact that the Nigerian police, precisely the Assistant Inspector General of Police in Ekoyi, Lagos, received a petition on June 27th from Mobad saying that music and show promoter Samari, who's a friend of Nayamali, and about 15 other people made an attempt on his life on June 25th. He said they showed up with cutlasses and guns to assault him at a video shooting in broad daylight. He said, let me quote what he said, they became violent, they assaulted me, I sustained injuries, and I narrowly escaped. Till date, they are still threatening to kill me if I'm seen. Sir, I call on your office to save my life. He even said, thank you for your timely intervention. So the police knew he was in danger. He attached pictures to that petition, by the way, as evidence. Yet, for more than two months, they did nothing. Actually, they did something. I'll tell you what they did later. But just a short background, Mubad was signed to Nayamali's record label for two years. But instead of just doing music, the boy was assaulted several times by his boss, Nayamali. And that's according to Mubad's legal team when they served a letter of termination to the Malian records. They allege several instances of criminal acts of assault and battery against their client Mubad. The termination notice that they served was issued in October of last year, although he's been saying that he was done and that he was leaving Mali for months. His lawyers accused Mali of orchestrating constant attacks on Mubad. Of course, several videos of him being assaulted have surfaced online. He don't do anything or do, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and his legal team also stated that Nayamali failed to pay advances that he owed Mubad, including royalties from Mubad's intellectual property since 2019. So not only was he being physically assaulted, he was also financially assaulted. They were stealing his money. They were using him, basically. But you know, the assault escalated the moment he announced that he was leaving Aramali's record. So they were not treating him well, yet they didn't want him to leave because they were benefited. In fact, I need to do a whole show on his tweets where he was crying for help. And the lyrics of his song, which we are now all realizing that they were all cries for help. But you know, on October 5th, he tweeted something that really broke my heart about his assault at Mali's house, including how they assaulted his producer and another friend that he went with. I guess he went there to show Mali his new producer in order to get his blessing. Big mistake. But you know, this tweet broke my heart the most. He said, Walt, please help me. I'm dying inside. And he attached this video. I shot the boy and shame my bad. I Swala, I never did you. Never did you. I saw you from Malay. I shot you, boy. I see. I saw you, boy. I see. Oh my Lord, my Lord, my. I never is walking there. Swala, nice one. Come alone, no. Where they go? Wow. He also posted pictures. So since October of last year, Mubad had been on his own. He called his own record label Immolinization. But not only was he assaulted that time at Mali's house, on June 25th, while shooting a music video in broad daylight, he was again assaulted by a party of about 15 people led by Nayamali's friend, that is Sam Larry. And two days after was when he petitioned the police. Unfortunately, you guys need to understand how the Nigerian police operates. If you write a petition against a big person, or against someone influential, or a rich person, or a politician, God help you, because first of all, they will take money from you, promising to investigate the matter. In fact, they may take money from you several times, telling you, ah, oh, don't worry, we are working on it. It's just that you need to send another 200,000, you know how they do now. And then they will call the accused 
and they will tell the person, hey, someone just dropped a petition against you. Oh, God, check your WhatsApp. Check your WhatsApp. They call it WhatsApp. <laughs> I have sent you a picture of the petition. You oh, need to come and settle the voice. So, in fact, the person doesn't even need to go to settle them physically as long as he or she sends them money. They just have to wire them money. So after taking money from both parties, Life. they will now sit on the petition without doing anything. Mm. Now, let me tell you what they did in the case of Mubak. The police must have called Samlari and Naira Mali because after Mubad's petition, those guys now wrote a petition against Mubad accusing him of defamation. Maybe because of what he wrote about them in his own petition or the fact that he's been calling out Naira Mali on Twitter for a long time, saying that Mali is assaulting him. So the police now summoned Mubad. They did not summon the people he accused, but they summoned mm. Mubad to come and answer to the petition written mm. by his oppressors. Wow. They totally ignored his own petition, even though it came first. They are now saying that, oh, they would have done something about his petition mm. if Mubad had shown up mm. for questioning yeah, on the petition that was written against oh, him. The Ola, like, your head, wow. they, they. I mean, who shows up for such nonsense? It's like, I came to your office, I told you Lagbaja is after my <sighs> life. I, hold, I wrote a whole petition. But you now invited me some days later for questioning after I reported Lagbaja for trying to kill me. Mm. You said he reported me for defamation. Mm. Papa. I mean, who would show up? Even I will not show up. That's a clear message that the police have been bought over by Lagbaja. And that's why I think that we're supposed to direct our anger towards the police. I'm not the only one that thinks like this. A lot no. of people are saying this and we're not paying attention. These people knew and could have stopped the killing but decided to empower its oppressors. Mm. They are the ones we should be upset with. And I'm not saying that we should attack the police or anything. No, no I'm not calling we are for not violence. attacking. Because we still have some God-fearing policemen and yes. women in Nigeria. But the ones in Nikoi that received his petition should be made accountable. Mm. It's not just Mubad that is a victim of police corruption and police negligence in Nigeria, by the way. Many people whose lives are in danger cannot rely on the police to protect them from the powerful. They don't tell them that, oh, they will not help you. They don't say that up front. Usually, they will promise to investigate when you report something to them, and then they will take money from you. You will just realize that nothing is happening. You keep calling, you keep going, you get what I'm mm. just frustrate. They will just frustrate you. You know, I've seen so many women who claim that the police ignored their cry of domestic abuse, especially when the abuser is their husband. Mm. Sometimes they will say to this woman, so what did you do? And you must have done something now for him to beat you. Mm. Some of them will say, oh, Shebi, he already paid your bad yeah. price. In fact, one woman said that they laughed at her and then they invited her husband and sat down to drink beer and together. Drink. With the husband. That is the and Nigeria for you. That's the police for you. Beat her up again. You know, the ironic thing is, <laughs> we're now turning to the same police to get justice for Mubad. We're shouting justice for Mubad, justice, and we are expecting the same police to ensure justice for Mubad. Isn't that ironic? Well, because he actually ran to them before he was killed and they did not protect him. And now that he was killed, we are expecting the same police to ensure justice. And that just breaks my heart. You see, they are doing press conference. They said they are launching investigation. They are launching a 13 men investigative team. I said, ah, <laughs> you're just waking up. Who is going to investigate the police alleged affiliation with the killers? If the police really wants justice for Mubad, they should please start by firing and arresting those who received his petition and did nothing about his cries for help. The same thing applies to Lagos State government. People have been saying that Samlari and Naira Mali have affiliations with the Lagos State government. Whether that is true or not, the only way for people to believe that you are not affiliated, Governor Samuel, is to ensure justice happens in this case, starting with holding the police accountable. It's not enough to announce on Twitter several days after that you have called an investigation by the police and by the DSS. Use the way the police handle this matter as a warning for those who are corrupt among our officers. Also, those who are corrupt among our NDLEA officers, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, because they're also involved in this case. And let's not forget that Mobad said in his petition mm. that um, those who came to assault him mentioned that they work for the monarch or by legacy. Ah. We're not accusing the monarch of anything, but I think that also needs to be uh, investigated. He said they were boasting that they work for Obaile Bushi. 
and that they have been asked to deal with me for reasons best known to them, which till date, they are still threatening to kill me, if seen. I don't think that should be ignored. I'm not saying that the monarch is guilty or not, but I think Mubad wrote something here that we should also pay attention to. And another reason the government must ensure justice in this case is to let people know that it's not okay to bully, to harass, to, or to assault anyone just because they are under you or you think you are the one making them popular. Otherwise, such will continue to happen and many more people will die due to police negligence, due to police corruption. There's just like too many layers on this story. By the way, the police saying that they are trying to investigate, people have been posting a lot of evidence online, on social media platforms. I've been posting on my Instagram page as well, so many videos, including a video of Naramali saying that we should all be glad that, that he's not, he's a, not serial a serial killer. killer. Like, mm. people need to start appreciating the effort I pull into not being a serial killer. Like, so I, I honestly, I don't know what hey, hey. evidence the police is looking for. There's the video and the audio of uh, San Larry talking about how oh, he's he's dead. He's been put in mortuary, no case to answer. <laughs> Uh, and then you have police mm -hmm. since you say you are investigating first of all start by investigating yourself and then people have been posting a lot of evidence online this thing should not take long this is how they will drag the matter out so yeah, after, some weeks, people, shout, shout. after some weeks and call, we'll forget and move. Uh. we'll keep you guys posted as the case develops but real quick if you're a lover of Pastor Adebuye of RCCG and gospel singer McDowell the guy that sang Give myself away so you can use me. Give myself away. And you live in the New York area. RCCG wants me to let you know that Pastor Adeboye and McDowell will be live at Belmont Park in Queens, New York. This is the address on the screen. This Thursday, September 21st from 7 to 11 p.m. I'm so sorry for just announcing this. They've actually told me a while back. But if you can make it, it will be free. But they would love for you to register if you can before coming. You just have to scan the code. That's the code that they sent. And then you could register.